<laughs> hello my lovelies you are welcome to our channel how are you doing how has your week been happy sunday happy beautiful sunday hope you're enjoying this lovely afternoon sipping tea hope you went to church if you're a christian and hope you've been sleeping and resting if you're a mostly more traditionalist yeah let me not talk too much in today's video we're going to be doing uh never have i ever challenge school edition so you guys we're good as you know now you understand as i am asking the questions and answering you to be asking yourself questions in your house and answering and also today i'm going to be introducing you to the new series we're going to be starting in february and i'm going to be telling you why i am doing what i'm doing or why we're going to be doing what we're doing are you ready you're ready abby oh yeah Get your pen and paper, sit back, relax, and let's start. Okay, right into the video. The Never Have I Ever School Edition. Are you ready? As I said, get your pen and paper. I don't think it's your pen and paper you should get to. Maybe get your popcorn and drink. So the first one. Never have I ever skipped a class. Yes, we're doing it rush rush. I have skipped a class. Never have I ever cheated on an exam. I have. But I stopped doing it once I became born again in university. Never have I ever forged my parents' signature. I did when I was in primary three. I mean, the acts that our parents will sign our assignments before we submit every single day. I mean, who had the time? Anyways. Never ever, and also I used to do my assignments in the morning when I came to school, like copy notes, and I needed my father's signature. How would I get it when I copied somebody's assignments in the morning? Don't judge me, because you could have done worse. <laughs> Anyways, never have I ever been suspended from school. I haven't. Never ever been. Never have I ever been in the bottom three of my class. I haven't. Never have I ever hit someone with chalk. Let's skip. Never have I ever made excuses for being late. Fake excuses. I have. Never have I ever been homeschooled. I haven't. Well, would having a lesson teacher be considered as being homeschooled? Well, I still went to normal school anyways. Never have I ever had a crush on someone in my class. I have. I've had in primary school. I've had in secondary school. But I didn't have a university. Never have I ever played in a sports team. Never. Never have I ever been the, a monitor or prefect. I have been a prefect. Um, I was the health prefect in secondary school and I have been class monitor I think once. Never have I ever skipped school to do something fun. I have. Never have I ever... Do you want to hear the gist of it or should we just move on? Never have I ever had a serious injury at school. None that I can think of. I haven't. Never have I ever enjoyed studying. I have. I enjoy studying actually. Never have I ever hit somebody hard. I've even fought in school before. I have. Never have I ever played a prank. I have. I kind of have a little bit of mischief in me. Never have I ever stuck a funny note on someone's back. I haven't. Not that mischievous. Never have I ever impressed someone who disliked me. I think I have. We all, well, not we all. I can be a people pleaser sometimes, especially when I was in secondary school. Never have I ever acted cool to get attention. Oh, I had that face. I have. <laughs> Never have I ever taken part in school play. School play, school choir, all those kind of things. I have. Never have I ever won in sports. I have not even been a sports girl, talk less of winning in it. Never have I ever gone on a field trip. I have. <laughs> Never have I ever had a water fight. Will them using water to bath you on your birthday be considered as a water fight? Because I was not fighting with anybody. They were fighting with me. Never have I ever threw ink at someone. No, I don't even have, I don't have those tantrum things. No. Never have I ever sent a love note. I have on behalf of my brother. And that brings us to the end of our Never Have I Ever School Edition. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was quick enough. I told you I kept my promise anyways so I'm going to be introducing you guys to our new series that we're starting in February the latest Nigerian mommy in town latest Nigerian mommy in town is a series that explores um, 
pregnancy and delivery in Nigeria using my own experience. Of course, I am in no way an expert, but based on my own experience, I have learned a few things that I think is worth sharing, especially with first time moms as myself. You know, as I was going on the journey, it's not as if I did not see resources online or on YouTube. Oh, there are many, but they are mostly foreign people and even those that were Nigerian that, you know, shared their experiences like Tukia Morgan, Dola Komasi Oni, the G. They gave birth to their children abroad and I realized that there is a vast difference, you know. There's a vast difference in the experience of delivery abroad and in Nigeria. I'll give you guys an example. Something as simple as the day you're coming to deliver or the, yeah, the day you're coming to deliver, you're required to bring hand gloves. You're required to bring a uh, tissue, other kinds, all those kinds of things that you are, you are bringing things for the hospital that is not even your own thing. You don't, you, you, you don't even, I don't think you do that abroad. They would even give you some of the essentials that you, you yourself, you need. So after providing essential for yourself in Nigeria, you will still bring some of the things that the hospital will use. Let spirits, olive oil. Some of those, yes, yeah, some of these things you do them in Nigeria. Another thing I realized is that, you know, there, there are a lot of foreign people who share. Foreigners have a very giving out. They share their experience, their best stories, but we're kind of secretive here. And our experiences are vastly different, so if I'm going to be honest. I'll give you guys another example. When I was um, starting out, my first trimester, you know, I really didn't have anybody to talk to or to share with. And I will tell you guys why. You understand why when I start my series or when we start this series. I went to check on how to control or stop nausea or nausea, be nausea, <laughs> vomiting. <laughs> and you know, these people were actually giving tips, you use ginger sweets, you use this, you use that. So, so, so crackers, very, very specific things that I could not find here in Nigeria. So I had to improvise. Of course, ginger sweets. I don't, I, I we don't have the, the brands, they, you know, stipulated, but there are some kinds of things that you can do. You can do ginger tea. Crackers didn't work for me. You know, so I want to share the things that worked for me, things that didn't work for me and things that you can find, you know, within this, our locale, this, our environment. Another thing I realized about culture, <laughs> you know, we have a culture of help here, even after delivery, Omuga and everything, but they have a different culture, you know, starting from the prenatal, they have a variety of specialists that they use that we, we don't even have here. They have doulas and they have birthing centers. I don't know if we have doulas here. I don't even know if we have birthing centers, but we had, we have midwives. They have, um, they have midwives as well. They have, you know, nurses that specialize in the birth experience and all delivery and all those kind of things. They have hospitals that have OBGYNs, like very specific to the pregnant woman or the woman. Here, doctor is doctor, hospital is hospital, you know. Um, they have lactation experts. We don't have lact. I don't know if, I don't, if, if you guys know whether they have all these things, but I'm speaking on a very, very general, now I don't know about a lactation expert so the person that teaches them all these processes are different people and they are specialists you know involved in all those things you can't I can't just call up a lactation expert now that oh how do I how how because there, there are a lot of mistakes I made in even this my breastfeeding journey with my child all these things and more I want to pour out and share because I am all about learning and sharing so i hope you guys look forward to the videos as much as i look forward to them i hope you guys look forward to also sharing with me your own thoughts your own opinions the things that you've learned your betting experience in nigeria and also i'm going to be talking about the things you shouldn't you know you that you're not pregnant the things you shouldn't do to a pregnant woman or a pregnant family so you are going to learn a lot the things you should do how you can help you know a pregnant woman or help pregnant family so this video is for everybody and for anybody because birthing a delivery is life life giving is a general thing is a, so, a societal thing 
so i hope you look forward to it this is not a gender specific video it's not only for women it's for fathers it's for friends it's for brothers sisters uncles aunties mothers grandmothers everybody and anybody i look forward to seeing you in february let's say a short prayer to round up the month i hope you gave this year a chance i missed all that is happening i pray that god will fortify you with more wisdom more grace more strength more love more laughter more joy and that the year the coming new month the month of love will truly be a month of goodness and love have a wonderful new week love you bye